but f East Coast fever rather, the single biggest killer of cattle, devastates livestock and destroys livelihoods of many farmers. And even though treatment is, is possible, it is expensive. But as Dorka Swangira found out, the vaccine can save livestock keepers a lot of headache and money. They actually, it's a deadly disease that kills a cow. So I've heard about it. And in our native language, it's called Kerbesiet. What looks small and deceptively harmless isn't. The brown ear tick transmits the layer that causes East Coast fever in cattle. According to Gulf Med, a company that makes livestock health products, ECF kills one cow every 30 seconds, putting the lives of more than 25 million cattle at risk where the disease is now endemic. The single biggest killer of cattle in 11 countries in eastern and parts of Central Africa, ECF is a big threat to Kenya's estimated 17 million heads of cattle, 3 million being dairy. Stephen Kemboy, a farmer, knows well what the onset of ECF looks like. It, it develops high temperatures and uh, it, uh, it, it normally uh, discharges uh, saliva from the mouth and uh, you would see the reef notes have swol are swollen. The, 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 if an animal is sick, it is not going to produce the milk. And if, you are, if there is no milk, there is no food. Dipping facilities often do not work in remote areas. Treatment of infected cattle is also possible. But in most cases, animals are already too weak to survive the treatment, unless if the diagnosis is made early enough, However, all three forms of control can be used, dipping, treatment, and vaccination. The vaccine itself is not a new vaccine. It's a very old, first-generation vaccine. It's what is called an infection and treatment method. So it's a very crude vaccine, and to put it very um, simply, you are injecting an infective parasite into the animal, causing the disease. At the same time you are injecting, you are blocking the, the, the parasite with an antibiotic. That's why it's called injection, uh, infection and treatment method. The ECF vaccine developed by key stakeholders including CARI, now Calro, Il Rifau and Government is already fully registered and is commercially available in Kenya. There are six recognized distributors. The vaccine requires cold chain, parafu. So the vaccine has to be moved from where it is, the distributor, to the farmer. There will be cost there. And I also told you, in order to do the treatment and vaccination, you use oxytetracycline 30%. The correct dosage of the ECF vaccine is injected into the skin behind the ear. Every animal vaccinated is given an ECF ear tag. Animals with the tag are sold at higher market prices. Owing to the nature of the vaccine, only trained veterinary professionals are authorized to administer it. Farmers need to be wary of quacks who could either underdose or overdose the animal. And those who administer the single strain, Maricabuni vaccine, passing it off as a Muguga cocktail, which is a combination of all types of strains that cause ECF. With challenges as lack of awareness, accessibility and affordability presenting themselves to farmers, making milk collection centers a vaccination point is a key strategy to target more farmers. Nearly 900 million people rely on livestock for their livelihoods, money for their education, their health and needs. Their loss is everyone's loss when the animals can be vaccinated and protected for life. Dorcas Wangira, KTN.